Good evening, good evening, and welcome once again to the Source of Our Strength broadcast. We're your hosts, Pastors, Pastors Ron and Kim Odom of the True Vine Church, located at 40 Norfolk Street in the Boston, in the Dorchester area, 40 Norfolk Street, Dorchester, Mass 02124. We once again want to welcome each and every one of you to the Source of Our Strength broadcast. Uh, once again, where we are Ron and Kim Odom, pastors of the True Vine Church. At this time, we want you to just um, just gear your hearts and mind uh, as we pray uh, to go as we go further into our, uh, our broadcast on tonight. If you would just bow your head with us for a short word of prayer. Father, we thank you once again for your grace and your mercy, for it is by grace and through faith that we are even here today. Lord God, we thank you for yet another day that you have blessed us to see. We thank you for this is the day that you have made and we rejoice and we're glad about it. Now, Father, as we begin to uh, discuss uh, some things and uh, that concerns us and, and even people in the community, God, we acknowledge you today for being the source of our strength and the, the strength of our life. So God, we depend on you and we lean on you every step of the way. God, we pray that you would continue to give us grace and, and, and give us the strength, Lord God, to even go on go on even do our daily uh, activities although there have been uh, 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 things in our life that have probably perhaps have set us back but God we pray that as we go further with trusting and depending on you that you would see us through in every uh, thing that we do and everything that we say so God we pray that your blessings be upon the listeners on tonight those that are far and near those that are close Lord God in the community God or even those that are even and far abroad lord god we pray that those that are listening uh, under the sound of our voice that you would just grant us your peace for lord god we 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 are seeking and searching for the peace of the city tonight yes. so god we pray that you would continue to show us lord god and lead us and and guide us in the way that you would have us to go god this is our prayer we pray in the name of your son jesus christ amen amen amen, amen. And, and yes we are we're seeking the peace of the city I'm going to read uh, out of Proverbs tonight. And this is a scripture that has, um, you know, many of us know and we quote it often and just want to continue to be reminded. And it's Proverbs 3, 5, and, and 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. And um, I think we, you know, so often have to be reminded of that because, uh, you know, when we see so many things happening in our communities and our country, you know, across the world that is yes. happening and it, it, it can get really um, uh, heart wrenching to see the, the, the tragedies that are taking place um, um, in the in the world and in communities and you know oftentimes you just you, know, you say god what's going on and then you have to hold fast to the profession of your faith without wavering right yes because we faithful. know that god is faithful and so faithful. we continue to trust him and um and 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 as the scripture said it in, instructs us to do is not to lean to our own understanding you know because mm -hmm. it's hard to again comprehend um, some of the things that are happening, and, and uh, so we, we continue to trust the Lord. Yes, yeah, so we thank God once again for being here on this um, great day. Like I said, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we already determined in our mind that we're going to rejoice and be glad about it. We apologize even on last month for not being here. I know it was a disappointment, a great disappointment to some of the listeners. I know everyone out there was listening and waiting and had their clocks probably set to <laughs> listen to the Source of Our Strength broadcast. I know we probably sit sitting by the radio, if you will, or sitting by your computers with a nice cold glass of uh, Kool-Aid, if you will, or iced tea or sweet iced tea, whatever the case may be, and wanting to just, uh, waiting for us to engage in some uh, uh uh, dialogue and we uh, absolutely and we we uh, want to um, just keep in mind that our heart uh, we have the heart uh, for the city of, of, of Boston and and our communities Dorchester Roxbury and Mattapan and uh, our heart is um, 
definitely geared towards uh, seeking, like I said, seeking the peace of the city. And by ev any means, whatever it's going to take, that we, we are searching uh, and, and seeking the peace of the city. I often quote, and when I'm speaking, I, I use a Martin Luther King uh, quote that um, just uh, visits uh, some of the things that uh, we grew up in our day and and you know I've noticed in a lot of people that were on Facebook this week for some reason there was just a flurry or, or a barrage of people remembering what has happened or how things used to be in the Dorchester what, what some of the things that they remember and uh, you know it just brought me to the mind of uh, and and a lot of the memories they, they were good memories a good of how the, the they, they remember how Boston was and how Dorchester Dorchester and how things used to go on in Dudley and some of the things that used to go on in the community. There was some things about um, uh, uh, a summer thing, a playhouse in the park, uh, uh, summer, yeah, like I said, summer things. So there's just so many great people that have remembered Dorchester, Roxbury, and Mattapan, how things used to be. And, you know, my mind went back to, like I said, a Martin Luther King quote that I uh, uh, use often. Uh, and it says, before we go forward, we must go back and rediscover those precious values that all reality hinges on moral foundations that all reality reality has spiritual control. And it's just something that that everybody was remembering just so many great things that we used to do. And and it's a part of our history. And I'm encouraging everybody to remember, you know, and never forget this rich heritage that 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 brought us thus far. And if we have to go back and remember the morals and the and the the, the foundation then by all means, let's go back. If we have to borrow from the past, let's go back and borrow and let's try our best to incorporate and bridge that gap of today. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that this was not just something that we just remember and forget. But, you know, there were so many great things. Uh, somebody mentioned, I remember when, you know, Sunday morning, that meant we go, we all going to church. Somebody, we're going to church. But for some reason, even that has uh, taken a back, you know, seat to some of the things that are going on today. So, you know, it, it was just a barrage all week. Uh, people were remembering great things about their city. And I just want to uh, keep that in mind that let us not those that were took take place, you know, took place in that uh, flurry of, of remembering. Let us not forget some of the great things that that has brought us thus far. The reason why it's important um, for us not to forget or to, or to, you know, to reflect and to remember is because those things, it, it kind of helps us um, uh, when, when, we, when, when we see things happening that uh, are, are causing us to get a little discouraged or overwhelmed. Um, it, when we when we think back to the way you know things used to be, and although we understand that you know times change and you know people's places and things change, there are progressions that happen. But we always want to be careful that we, while progression is happening, that we don't um, lose yes. um, the the like you just said the the foundation or the value system right. that has been in place. We don't allow those things to be. Um, to be destroyed or to be uh, removed, that right. we, you know, we, 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 we go back and we rem remember those things that helped, yeah. uh, you know, get us through. And so you, you don't, you don't, you know, that's why it's so important as we talk about, you know, a pr family that prays together, stays right, together. So you don't right. take the prayer out, right? right. You don't, exactly. you don't, you don't exactly. dismiss those, um, those, those foundational, those foundational uh, strengths mm -hmm. that, you um, that you know uh, build us up right, right that build us up and strengthen yeah. us let's apologize for our yes and so we do program. we also want to Subject apologize to because we know that it was announced that um a uh, 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 counselor at large uh, ayana presley and her husband conan harris um that uh they were going to so her name is uh, ayana presley harris now right mm -hmm. uh that they were going to be on with us this this evening and we apologize that unfortunately it didn't work out for them to be with us this evening we are certainly hoping that they will be able to be with us on next month uh, uh, on the August bro um, broadcast, um, 
Um, so uh, I, we apologize that they're not here with us this, this evening, but that was a, um, you know, something that just was not able to be uh, uh, scheduled on tonight and had to be rescheduled. Right. And also, we just want to uh, take this time just to um, remember uh, Sister Hinton, her, uh, the loss of her uncle. Uh, we want to continue to um, just send this out to the prayer warriors and just to pray for the Hinton family on the loss yes. of of their uncle. We pray that God would consolate them in this hour and even comfort them as the days go by. You know, it's all too well, you know, we just know that 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 feeling, you know, whatever it is, a loss is a loss. You know, death is 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 just, you know, just it's it's just it's a sad uh thing. But we 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 know that uh uh, that God is a, uh, uh, he has a way of just consolating. Uh, you know, when we uh, don't know the words to say, mm -hmm. uh, for some reason, God, he He knows. So that's, you know, we, we ask and we always ask God, you know, uh, we need to hear from you. Uh, we need a word from you. If we don't hear from we don't we just don't know uh, what to do. But, you know, most people you know, and people can say the right things, you know, but sometimes, you know, it's, we, we just need to hear from God. You know, we need to hear his voice and this still small voice just to comfort us and and to uh, to just keep us, you know, as as. As we go so we, we we certainly want to uh, remember the Hinton family and, and the loss of their uncle at this time and let them know that we're praying and not only us but uh, those that are under the sound of our voice that know the work and the words of prayer pray much for their family that God was take them through yes amen at this hour amen. so we we love uh, sister Sharon and we we're praying God's uh, uh, strength amen. amen at this hour amen mm -hmm. amen so, uh, <laughs> let's talk about what we've been through. Mm. Um, let's let's talk about uh, one of the reasons why we were not able to be here in June. Um, uh, it was just an overwhelming um, experience, yet overwhelming, but it was an uh, 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 opportunity. A learning experience uh, for me personally, taking um, a, a part in in uh, what we uh, did in the month of June. So I'll just ask you to let our listening audience know um, what some of the things that we were involved in in June and mm -hmm. even up until this present time. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, we want you to let just let you know that uh, you can call us uh, if you want to get engaged in some of the things that we'll be talking about tonight. And, and even if you want to uh, give a shout out to some of the things that you remember in 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 uh, your 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 past and, and just want to uh, just just shout out some of the things that you remember, you can call us at uh uh, 617 282 You're listening to the Source of Our Strength broadcast. Uh, you're listening to us live. You can listen to us on uh, WRCA 1330 on the AM dial. And also you can use stream us on Boston Praise Radio. And you even in the chat uh, and, and on Facebook, you can uh, there's a uh, Boston Praise Radio uh, Facebook page that you're able to even engage in us even in the chat room. So give us a call if you're interested or if you're listening, just give us a shout out. Uh, if there's something that you want to talk to talk about concerning uh, today's issues. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, last month um, mm -hmm. we took part in a uh, event that happens annually. It mm -hmm. actually was the, the third event and um, as you and I have participated in various efforts, yes. um, peace efforts in, in community, uh, many have heard me say from time to time, I'm a firm a believer that what you do on one side, you got to do on the other. Right. And I say that, you know, uh, when I was younger, um, uh, I, I was not, and even now, but I was not good at math <laughs> right. and 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 I struggled with algebra mm. but one of the things that I did learn um and with with algebra mm. um and problem solving is I believe and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong but what you do to one side you mm -hmm. have to do the other right? right and so we have uh, we we recently participated just as we working in the community 
we participated in an event that is held in um, uh, at MCI Norfolk Prison, mm -hmm. and this event is, is is called the Restorative Justice Responsibility Retreat, mm -hmm. and it was held on June 21st and June June 22nd. It was a Saturday and Sunday, a two day um, uh, 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 retreat, mm -hmm. responsibility retreat, and um, I participated last year. And it's um, as you said, it you know it's a it's a it's an experience that's you know it's important, but it can be a little a little overwhelming mm -hmm. because we we're going in as survivors and community to um, to you know to to work to work with um, men who, who in, in the prison system and who many, some, many are, I believe many, many of them are, are in there. Um, some are um, what they call, what you call lifers, you know, yes, men who are right, in prison right. for having done, you know, some, some hard things like taking people's lives and, mm -hmm. um, and just, you know, really unfortunately impacting compu community in, in a negative way. However, um, this, this, uh, this restorative justice practice is giving opportunity for those men that are in the prison mm -hmm. system who are willing and wanting to take, um, uh, acknowledge or, or be accountable um, and responsible for their, uh, their acts of offense and um, acknowledge that and, and, and apologize. And in certain, and when the way restorative justice works is in most cases, it's you, you, you know, the person who offended yeah. um, is given the opportunity to apologize to their victim. But right. in this case, it's kind of generalized because mm -hmm. in some cases that's not able to happen. And so it's kind of, it's like a community, the community goes in and there are some of us who are survivors who were asked to participate. Right. And there were a few of us that participated in this um uh, responsibility, this restorative justice right. responsibility retreat at MCI Norfolk. Right, you know, uh, and and I heard you for like the the third time. You you put emphasis on responsibility. Um, can you just elaborate just a little bit more on just that word uh, responsibility, or what is a responsibility retreat? Well, I think the responsibility um, piece of it is that you know. Giving those individuals mm -hmm. that um, you know that space or that opportunity to own to to, yeah. to acknowledge and to own what they've done, how they've impacted um, you know that person that mm -hmm. that the victim or victim's mm -hmm. family, how they've impacted the community that they came from, and um, you know their family, all all of the right. you know all of those things that. The, the, that when you offend, you don't just, you know, that offense doesn't just impact you, mm -hmm. but it, mm -hmm. it has a, a, tr um, a ripple effect uh -huh. and, a, and it impacts so, so many. Mm, many connections. And so many con connecting, mm -hmm. you know, um, and so to have that opportunity for these men who, again, um, who are willing um, and who have come to a place where they're, uh, able to 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 acknowledge that right I, I i i was there for the first day i was able to be there on the first day but wasn't able to attend the second day um but i like i shared um in a letter that you know i i you know when you you just don't know what to expect um i, I didn't know what what the feel was or you know how to uh even respond you know for being there uh but i must say that um, when I got in there and met a few of the gentlemen that were there, um, it, it somewhat just set me at ease. I, I can remember sharing with one gentleman when he first uh, introduced himself to me, um, and he introduced me, and his name was Steve. And, you know, I, I, once I heard his name, Steve, I, I, I put my head down. And, you know, he said, you know, that was the same response that your wife uh, did a year ago when I met her and I introduced my name. Yeah. And um, and I guess he knew why, you know, um, yeah. he knew why, because uh, um, I heard his name and Steve Stephen just happens to be my son's name who was murdered. And when he 
mention his name, it just, you know, brought me back. And I, I guess he knew he knew that yeah. too. I didn't I didn't know how, but I guess maybe like I said, from the response that um he got from you from a year ago. Mm-hmm. Um he he got the same I and I didn't know. Um but but he just, you know, just began to um share with me and, and give his condolences and his sympathy um towards me and even the whole family and even the community. It was it was just different, you know. It was different. But uh he and, was a and, great guy. And the way that this is set up is that the the, the there's opportunity for um there's you know it's set up to create uh different um, workshops were done during that time. So everybody went into different right, workshops right. and there were different topics that each one was indre- addressing about, you know, the impact of impact of violence on community, mm-hmm. the impact of violence on, um, on uh, um, uh, victims and uh, victims' families. Uh, so it was a lot of different um, uh, topics and there was various... Uh, folks from community that were mm-hmm. were there, um, as we sh- uh, um, our counselor Yana Presley was right, there, right. Uh, Conan Harris was there. Yes. The governor came on that Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, there was uh, um, uh, Superintendent uh, Superintendent Willie Gross came. Oh, okay. yeah, I um, there. there was a, a lot of other other folks from community that came and, per- and participated. And um, I had shared, there was a, my reflection on when I got up to share, I talked about how er, that, that first year that I went, there was a, a young man in the circle because there's like a circle that right. we, we mm-hmm. do. And the young man had expressed how the night before the event was going to take place, mm-hmm. he was feeling a particular way as to whether or not he was even going to show up because he said he didn't know if he could sit in the same circle with another with wow. a survivor. Mm-hmm. He didn't know. He didn't think that he would. You know, he, he was feeling you know a, 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 a um, kind of heavy about mm-hmm. being able to be in the same space because he was feeling yeah. guilty. Feeling right. and guilty. See, that, that, that was and of, and I expressed that you know it was interesting that he and I was glad that he shared that because Mm -hmm. I was feeling the same way the night before it was time to go even though I had all along and I want to give a shout out to um, a a fellow survivor Janet Connors because Janet Connors um, she introduced me to this this restorative justice um, uh, um, um, arena, mm-hmm. and um, so for, there might be some listeners who you know know Janet Connors. Her her son, Joel, um, Joel, Joel. was mm-hmm. was was stabbed to death, mm-hmm. and. Um, and Janet does circles and she does the uh, restorative justice circles, mm-hmm. but she introduced us to this arena and going into the prison system. And, um, and I, you know, was feeling, and I, you know, had wanted to participate, but when it came time to actually, the day was getting ready right, to come, right, right. I started feeling kind of apprehensive mm-hmm. or nervous about it. And I said to the young man, I really appreciate you sharing that because I was feeling the same right. way as a survivor. Mm-hmm. I started feeling like, well, do I, you know, do, you know, how am I going to, you know, how's this going to work? What's this going to be like? Mm-hmm. Because as you said, right. you don't really know yeah. what, what it entails. Mm -hmm. how you're going to feel, you know, and and, and there is a, um, you know, feeling of awkwardness and all of Mm -hmm. that. And but I said to him that, you know, just as he was feeling that way and I was feeling that way. I was grateful that we both made that decision yeah, right, right, to work through right. that, you know, mm, that, that anxiety yeah, and that yeah. feeling to be yeah. in that circle because that's what it's going to take for us to have that healing, right, right. that healing that we need, mm. you know, and, 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 and everybody's not at that place. That's right. Everyone Absolutely. can't perhaps can do it. But for those of us who are willing to make that sacrifice mm-hmm. and, and be that example to for know. others right, to right. help bring others right. along, then, you know, you know, yeah. we say, God, give us the strength right, to right. be able to do that mm-hmm. because I'm not going to I'm not going to um, sit here and say that this it's easy right, because it's right. not easy. Exactly right. It's very hard. Right, and after right. we did it, 
it was so overwhelming. Mm-hmm. As you said, we weren't even able to do the no, pro- we, broadcast because we were so overwhelmed right, and right, drained. Right. And um, even emotional. Right. Even emotional. I went home, right, you know, right. you know, crying. <laughs> yeah. You know, right. and, and and grief. You know, still, you know, still, mm-hmm. you know, grieving over the the painfulness of it all, mm-hmm. but also saying, God, I do understand how important it is Amen. for us to be able to do this. So listen, you're listening to the source of our strength broadcast, and and the reason why the even the broadcast is named the source of our strength because we we want to give the world and the community uh, just a glimpse of what a a survivor uh, or victims of a homicide you know this is our life now and and we so we introduce some are not able to talk about it and uh, uh, even some of the things that we're sharing, you know, people would ask, you know, what is the source of our strength? How are you able to go in a prison and and talk to uh, uh, inmates that are that have, you know, committed uh, murders through whether it's through gun violence, whether they have people have been stabbed, and and whether just somebody that have taken somebody's life? How are you able to sit in there? And you know, but this is this has become our life now, and uh, we want to know, um, and we we want to know. And we want others to know what we go through. So the, the name, the source of our, our strength, and we, we want the world to know. We, there's no way that we can do this, the, the things that we do on our own strength. Uh, and and uh, so we have to constantly depend on the strength of God to just give to God to give us strength to to even uh, uh, perf- uh, go through our daily activities. You know, um, some some survivors, you know, just the, the life of a survivor, some uh, 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 will will not uh, even show their face, you know, just just because of the hurt and the pain. But we have decided that we want to make a difference, and 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 not saying that we we're, we're all there because you know, like you share that, you know, you cry every day. You know, I remember that Sunday. I, I wasn't able to go Sunday with you, but I remember the sad the Sunday after. You know, you come home that afternoon, and we begin to just debrief again, and it just got so overwhelming to the point where you just had to release the the, the cry and and then someone would say well why would you put yourself through something right. like that <laughs> you know why would you even go through a prison and 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 be take yourself through that but we're trying to get some kind of understanding and really you know the reason why we were there Saturday uh we had got a call I had got a call and they just wanted to hear um the impact of what of what a what a father goes through um, and or, or just how uh, are, 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 are you impacted about, you know, about the, the, the violence that goes on in the community as a survivor. And, and one term that they uh, asked, was it all right if they use uh, not so much survivor, but they they wanted to call us uh Impacted, impacted partner party. or no, party. party an impacted, impacted party. party. We're an impacted party that have. Um, gone through so so we were there just to to let some of the inmates know the impact of what a a a a, a father or what a family goes through after such uh, uh crimes that have been committed and you know i i must share that i thought i was able to really just give my all and all but for some reason i i didn't want to go there because i thought maybe I would have broke down and I just didn't want to I didn't want those that were there to see me, you know, to break down. But I I understand now it's it's all right for a a man to cry. And and, and And sometimes the world needs to see, you know, we're constantly hearing about the weeping and the wailing women and the mothers, you know. But there are some fathers, too, that are just going through and, and probably are not willing to to share and and I, I when I got there I just didn't want to show that side of me fully you know and I, I really wasn't truthful to myself but you know and 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 I felt you know bad about it not that you know I want to just get up there and just be a baby and cry but I, I'm still hurt you know I'm still hurt from the loss of my my child and and um, I, I was able to share some things but I just really felt like I didn't give the whole story you held back but yeah, you know and 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 once again that's what re, that's why it's important for us to be, debrief and to reflect 
um, you know, on on our experience, you know, when we go to different things, a, a part of you know various, uh, um, you know, opportunities, uh, and 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 it's and it's important for for you to be true to yourself. Yes, it, we we have to be true to ourselves and be able to say, you know what, I you know I held back. I didn't really allow myself to right. really say what I wanted to say. Like mm-hmm. you said, I didn't go there the yeah, way I wanted yeah. to go there. But you know, there you know will be other opportunities. And you're even saying it out loud now, right, you know, right, to be right. able to say, you know, sometimes we, you, you, you know, I hear you, you say, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to cry, you know, you know, I, I'm going to let the tears flow. Right, but then, right. you know, then there are times when you say, I'm not going to cry. I'm yeah, going to let the yeah. tears flow. But it, it, once again, and that's that's a human nature. Yeah. You know, that's our human nature. Sometimes we, you know, we are willing to be, you know, vulnerable in certain areas and mm-hmm. then there's you know times when we when we don't want to be vulnerable right, in certain right, areas right. so that's just the the um the you know the the ebb and flow or the awkwardness right. of going going through um the challenges of of, of life right you're listening to the source of Austin broadcast uh our number here is 617-282-0685 give us a call and let us know that you're listening to us yeah. But one of the most important one, I think one of the most important things that came out of that experience mm-hmm. was, um, you know, something that Conan um, Harris had shared when yeah. he got up to speak, you know, to the men in, 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 As... in, 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 in the prison. Um, and he shared, you know, and, I, and um, he'll share his story, I'm sure, when he, you know, comes uh, and speaks with us. But he, you know, he did share about, you know, he, he looked at his, you know, those men there and he was right. like, you know, that those were his brothers, so to speak. Yes, you know, he yeah. was there at one time mm-hmm. and uh, God has blessed him and right. he's out and he said to them, he says, if you do the work, do the work, you will succeed. Mm-hmm. If you do the work, you will succeed. Powerful, and and, and just those statement. words that Conan spoke That's has really been statement. resonating yes. to me, you know, because mm-hmm. you can take that for so many different, right, you know, right, right. Um, arenas of life, mm-hmm. but the, the and it makes me and it made me think about, you know, um, uh, we often talk about, you know, uh, was it Joshua one yes, eight, right? Yes, this book of the law shall not depart out of the mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, for that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, then thou shalt have good success. So it's talking about do the work. Yeah. And you'll succeed. And, and, and that's a like I said, it's a powerful statement. And I, I went home with that thing. And and I just wanted to let him know that I, I love that, you know, and that's a, you know, and I'll share that with every anybody that is um, uh, struggling in their life that that wants to uh, do better and, and be better and, and do whatever yeah, right. it takes. And the, and, the, and, and the other thing that he shared was, the, mm-hmm. you know, the reality of the, the, no one's saying that there's not going to be challenges yes. because mm-hmm. there are going to be challenges. Folks are going to, you know, challenge you or you're going to come up against challenges. Mm-hmm. There's going to be things that you're going to face where it's not going to be so easy and right. you're going to have to reach and, and, and hopefully you've done the, the work so that there is tools in the toolbox, right, you know, right. so that that you don't you know get when 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 some someone comes to you or steps to you a certain way you got to know how to react right, in a way where it's right. not going to cause you to you know to go so far out of yourself where you're going to end up right back you right, know right, that recidivism right. piece right. you know and so learning those um learning how to how to uh follow the the formulas you know because somebody there's somebody who who went through Mm -hmm. and 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 can can give you that um resources that information to help you get through right right? right. and so and that's what that's you know that's that's important for us to be able to do to help our brother Mm -hmm. a sister you know to 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 do to do well right so i think it was a it was a great uh, responsibility retreat. Like I said, I, I, it was different for me. It was my first time, and I know it's not my last time. One of the things, and in, in I'll uh, end with this concerning this segment of the program, the broadcast that um, we we when we were there, we we um, had a chance to listen before I spoke. There was a gentleman that was there um, that had admitted to that he ended up hanging with the wrong crowd. And um, he ended up in in that prison. Um, but one of the things he shared that uh, he was a classmate of Stephen. Oh yes. 
And um, yes. when I begin to hear some of the things that he shared um, about my son, Stephen, and uh, how, how he was as a, a student and some of the things that he would do, really just uh, uh, he shared that Stephen was a good kid in school. And one of the things that he uh, wanted to do was to, if, if there was somebody that was having a bad day, he wanted some way to just try to get you to laugh or just to, to enjoy, you know, what was going on. And, you know, he, he even said uh, he reminded, Stephen reminded him of Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> and, you know, when he mentioned that, I said, yeah, you know, um, you know, he, he, he was spot on on that one because Stephen, that's a, he was a good kid and just wanted everybody to just to, to ha you know, to, to, yeah. to be, to enjoy, to yeah. enjoy life, you know. And uh, when he said that, it just brought tears to my eyes and I don't know how they had him speak before me, you know, and it was just a struggle for me to get up there after hearing uh, this man that was behind the wall uh, speak so highly of my, 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 my baby. And uh, it, it, it really brought tears yeah. to my eyes. Well, and, and that was a bittersweet moment because yeah. for me, it, it, you know, it, it made me think about, wow, here's this young man yeah. that was a, a, a student with, um, you know, Stephen and the Timothy and, and, you know, six and six years and six and some months, years and some months later, we're seeing this young man in prison. And so what happened? You know, um, how, how is that? And so I, I, I felt a little, yeah. you know, bad about, you know, mm -hmm. what, 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 where do, what did we miss right, right. on it? And because he, he also shared that during that time when, when Stephen was murdered, that the, the young people in that school went through a lot of trauma, and some of them, mm. some of them spoke up about the trauma, and some of them held it in. Yeah. And he shared that he there were things not just with Stephen, but things that he was going through, mm -hmm. even um, in, you know, um, at his young age. And that he was one that hold, held stuff in, yeah. and he al unfortunately allowed himself to get caught in the wrong mm -hmm. crowd and went and went into and went in the wrong path, and and that path was a trajectory that now he this right. young man is 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 in prison. Right. Um, and so and again, it it just makes me think about all the more what we need to you know we really have to pay attention right. and um, you know think about the trauma that our young people are experiencing and making sure that we're putting those resources in place to help them. And sometimes even when we ask them, you know, how are you doing? And they'd say, I'm okay. Right. I think we ought to be able to read between the lines there, mm -hmm. you know, especially because we know that they are exposed to um, such trauma in our community. And we have to, um, to really think about and, and, and pay attention to, <laughs> to, to, to that. And so we, um, we want to continue to pray for that young man and pray right. for our young people. And, um, and just, again, just, you know, pay attention to how we're lifting, lifting them up and, and holding them. And this is something else that I've, I've, I've learned yeah. from, um, from Janet, Janet Connors and how she talks about holding people in their humanity. Yeah. Oftentimes when folks do, um, you know, atrocious things, we think of them as monsters. We label right, them. We right, call right. them monsters. We, right. we call them the worst of the worst. We mm -hmm. write them off. We right. say that they're no, you know, they, they're not worth being a part of society right, right. anymore. And the reality is, is that, you know, um, they are human. They are human, and we have to hold people in their humanity because if we, and this is one of the things she says, if we, if we think of them as monsters or if we treat them of, as monsters, then we, you know, we, we do a disservice sure. because um, then they, we don't, you know, we, we, we don't, there, there's no such thing as monster. Right. You know, there's right. no such thing as monsters. We have to hold them in their humanity because when you hold them in their humanity, humanity, you hold them. You are able to hold them accountable right. Right. for mm -hmm. what they have done. Amen. And we have to hold people accountable in a way where we're not dehumanizing. Right. Right. Um, because when we dehumanize people, we continue the vicious cycle of what we are experiencing Amen. in community. Amen. And with that said, with that said, <laughs> we're going to take a break at this time and we'll be back in two minutes. 
Thanks to mass housing, the Bias family went from a rented basement apartment in Chelsea to a single family home in Revere. Jose Bias secured his mortgage through mass housing with a down payment of just 3%. Then he turned his house into a home. For anyone that has any doubts about mass housing, uh, the process was easy. Uh, we didn't ever think it was possible to ever own our own home. Home ownership is within your reach. Make mass housing your home team. Visit Mass Housing at MassHousing.com.
All right, welcome once again to the Source of Our Strength broadcast. We're your host pastors, Pastors Ron and Kim Odom. You're listening to the Source of Our Strength broadcast tonight, and we want to just thank all the listeners that are uh, listening uh, via Facebook, uh, uh, Ustream, Boston Praise Radio, uh, and all even those that are listening on the radio, WRCA 1330 on AM dial. We certainly welcome you once again to the Source of Our Strength broadcast. Uh, we're asking that you give us a call at one uh, six one seven two eight two zero six eight five and uh, let's engage in a little dialogue for these next fifteen minutes. We want to uh, just bring your attention to also some of the things we we shared already. We, we talked about the restorative justice responsibility retreat that we uh, attended in Norfolk MCI Norfolk Prison, and also we we just mentioned some of the. Uh, uh, things that 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 went on through there, and it was a great how we just talked about our experience. And at this uh, particular time in the broadcast, we just want to uh, just bring you up to date to some of the other things that we are involved with, um, even on this month. Right, and so our um, Pastor Ron and I are uh, members of a community group called Rock. Rock stands for Redefining Our Community, and. Um, we uh, at at Rock have been um, just envisioning how we want to see our community, and we had did this vi- envisioning exercise. It's been over a couple of a couple of years, but one of the visions that we envisioned was there was there's some green space in our neighborhood mm-hmm. where um, folks were just using it as a dumping site. It's actually behind the old police station on Morton Street. Mm-hmm. Um, the green space is, is, is on Hopkins Street. Right. And people were using it as a, you know, as a place where they were dumping yeah, junk and stuff junk, like that. Yeah. And so we decided that we want to have that space and, um, you know, put something, put, put a, a, a nice um, garden there. Yes. And the, the, the community group decided that they thought it would be a wonderful thing if we could have that space and we would name it in dedication to our son, Stephen. Right. And so this was something that we began to, you know, talk about and we began to talk to the city about because it is city, um, city property. And um, this past, uh, was it J- July 12th, even though the, we, we haven't yet um, gotten the, the official approval for the, the, the space, mm-hmm. we, we still wanted to, um, to have what we call a naming ceremony. We did clean up the space a little bit and just wanted to do a naming ceremony by faith. Uh, that we would hopefully in time get get that the the green space, um, and so we did on July twelfth. We had a naming ceremony, and so right. the the green space is now um, uh, the vision of the Stephen P. Odom right, Serenity right. Garden. We Serenity went through a, Garden, Serenity yeah. Garden. We went through a few. Uh, someone wanted to name it the Tranquility. Tranquility, tranquility right, garden right. but but i i said that i really wanted to wanted it to be the stephen p odom serenity garden why serenity and the reason why i wanted serenity because mm-hmm. it made me think about the the prayer of serenity that you know that talks about how um you know, the, the prayer of serenity talks about you know god, god, god grant me the the yeah. the the the, the the, the serenity, peace, yeah, the serenity yeah. to accept the things I that change. I cannot change, courage. the courage to, to change, change the things, things that things that I can, and, and the wisdom yeah, to, know to know the, the difference. difference. And I right. just felt like I thought that that just was more appropriate to have mm-hmm. that word serenity and to have that space be a space that we, you know, as community and even our young mm-hmm. people, giving our young right, people right. A, a healthy introducing a healthy environment right. for them to be able to go and ha- have a place of reflection in a healthy way right, right. because we do have to acknowledge again as i said about the young man um you know it, you know that was a a a, a friend a, a classmate of stevens right. mm-hmm. who who talked about the trauma mm-hmm. you know and so we do have to acknowledge that that's real right. and and that that we that there is there is healing in nature. Right, right. There is right. a healing mm-hmm. force in nature, and certainly we, you know, I'm not denying that we we, um, 
we have to uh, also be teachers and mm-hmm. learn. You know, we have to teach that. We or right. we have to be guiders of mm-hmm. that. You know, you know. Sometimes you say, well, you know, what you know, what what is it going to do for somebody to just walk in a, a garden and they're going to be okay? No, it's right. that's not the that's mm-hmm. not what I'm trying to say. Right, but right. but I if I'm, I'm sure there might be there's there's some of you out there who can who can. Um, perhaps relate to what I'm saying that when you go, you know, mm-hmm. if sit by the water or sure, you look on right. the water or you go into the park and you look in the trees and things, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's something about that that is, it's, re, you know, revitalizing, it's rejuve, re, rejuvenating. And, um, and so we want this space to be a space that uh, our community can um, to, can can enjoy mm-hmm. and to go and 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 reflect in and so the the desire is to you know to, to design it it hasn't been designed yet right but right. we know that we want to have you mm-hmm. know uh, you know some waterfall uh-huh. and just nice you know uh, mm-hmm. flowers sure. and, and seating right, to sit right. and you know just meditate pra- and a, just a meditation and and just you know um, of one of our one of our members of our, our of of rock shout the, out to rock rock yeah. Yes, shout out to Rock, to our president Trina um, Ambrose Mentos and her and her and her daughter mm-hmm. um, Felice. Felice, who was Mentos. very instrumental and helpful. And Felice, you know, she mm-hmm. talks about doing the yoga, yeah, having yeah. a space to do yoga. And so yeah. this is what we want to see in our neighborhood. We want to, you know, we we're saying that the things that we are encountering it's 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 not normal it's Mm -hmm. not okay it's not acceptable and we don't have to live like that right right? right, right. we don't and we can change it we can we there are things that we can change right right and so we're we're building the courage to be able to do that yeah okay so at this time i'm understanding that there so there are those that are in a, a chat room at this time you can uh just give us a uh, update what's going on in the chat room. Sure, sure. Um, we've got um, Sister Oz friend from Australia. We have um, Derek Butler from Atlanta who, yeah. um, and Pastor Bruce Wall. And mm-hmm. we've got some anonymous participants and people are also tuned in via 712 mm-hmm. two inclusive of um, Lakeisha Marie. All right. Uh, let's read some of the are there anything? some of the feedback? Sure. sure. Um, well, um, our brother Derek Butler from ATL. He ATL. A- yeah, ATL's in the house. <laughs> and he actually says, um, give me two seconds. He says, um, sorry. He That's says, right. Pastor Cousin Kim, I tell her I said hello. The last wow. time I saw her was at my mother's house in 2009 when my baby sister passed away. Oh, hmm. oh thank you, Derek. And uh, again, Pastor Bruce Wall says, good evening. Good evening, and, Pastor Wall. Uh, and people, again, we're just talk, talking about the prayer. And um, then you just got some uh, Oz friend who says hello. Amen. Beautiful. Thank you Beautiful. so much for those Thank that are you. in the chat room. Um, and even those that are listening uh, uh, or even just uh, listening at the radio or, or just uh listening to your computer where wherever you you're listening to we just thank god for you tuning in well for these next four minutes we're going to try to get our our agenda in here uh just some of the other things that we we we've been through um on july 18th um me and my wife we were so blessed and honored to spend some time on the uh, vineyard uh, at least two days with, with our son and our daughter uh, that were there and we while we were there we were celebrating our 33rd wedding anniversary so we thank god for 33 <laughs> uh years of holy matrimony let me hear y'all out there say holy holy <laughs> amen holy matrimony and we just thank god for those amen. that you know even participated even indulged me uh to throw up the threes that was out there on facebook some of my friends just begin to just throw us threes out there so 33 years and we thank god for the 33 years and we're looking for many many more years of holy holy matrimony. I, I love my wife. I thank God for the one that he has given unto me. And we understand that he who findeth a wife findeth a good thing. And we understand that there is somebody very special to us that, that have found a special, uh, a, a good thing. And that's none other than our, we just want to give a shout out to the newlyweds today. Yes. To the newlyweds, um, brother, 
and Ooh, brother man. Banks, brother Low brother Banks, Banks, and, and our Pris- sister Silla. Priscilla now Banks, Amen. Flint Banks. We yeah. congratulations! I they were married on Saturday, Saturday. July yeah. twenty sixth, right, July. And so a shout out to um, Mr. and Mrs. Banks. Banks. Uh, Amen. God bless you both, and and I I'm just so so excited mm-hmm. that that the Lord has blessed you. I know you guys, you know, um, just to see the 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 joy that was coming together Amen. over those uh, over the past has it been a year since they met i can't i don't know I if it's been know. a year but, but you can see on the, the glow on both of them when they, as they were coming together and mm-hmm. i thank god for them that they've um that they've sealed it All that right. they sealed it thank god and, and uh, we uh, also want to send a shout out to our friends yeah. brother uh, pastor reggie smalls and monica. first lady monica smalls of bethel pentecostal church yeah. they celebrated their 25th um wedding, wedding renewal mm-hmm. on yesterday, on yesterday and and we, we were a part, part of, of the w- wedding party mm-hmm. on yesterday, so that was mm-hmm. wonderful to ex- experience with them on yesterday. And last but not least, last before we sign least. on out, we were just coming here, rushing to get here on tonight because we were with our son and our daughter. They were experiencing that that in five more weeks from now, they'll be uh, ex- receiving a very special uh, uh, a precious from cargo. Heaven. Amen. And that's, <laughs> our son Brandon, our daughter-in-law child. Tamara, uh, are expecting, and they had their baby shower on yesterday, and so we're thankful that God is blessing them with a little baby boy. Um, uh, we're waiting on the arrival of little Brandon Odom. Amen. So in September, so we thank God for all that He is doing in our life and and in our community, and we're going to continue to hold on to His unchanging hand, and we encourage you to do the same. Amen. God so bless God you. God bless you. And this is the Source of Our Strength broadcast signing out for this month of uh, July. And we're hoping and looking forward to the next month. And we're asking that you stay tuned to the Source of Our Strength broadcast. God bless you on tonight.